Now it all makes sense. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, you got to watch this because it's outrageous. And uh, we'll be discussing the Middle East, but our relationship has never been stronger than it is right now, and I think that is largely based on the relationship that we have. So I look forward to having our discussion. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. It's Thank a great you. pleasure to be here. Please. Like to say something? Well, I would like to say thank the president for receiving me and my delegation uh, here today. I'm here to convey the greetings of His Majesty and the people of Bahrain to strengthen the relationship, which is based on shared values, where they overlap, uh, ideals. We primarily, as the president said, are going to focus on discussions related to security enhancement and trade enhancement. We signed today a agreement to purchase additional or to purchase our first uh, Patriot missile battery systems, right. and it couldn't have come at a better time. Good timing. Absolutely. And we, we seek to strengthen <laughs> America's ability to trade with the world. Oh my. Yo. Ho. Really? Really? That's all I want to know. So, let me guess. Don't you think it's a little too coincidental? Too timely? He said good timing. Don't you think that? But, yeah, who am I, right? Hold on a second. Arm system. So, I'm not a politician. But if you make me president, I promise to pull out of all wars, to bring home all of our soldiers, to prepare them as best I can for the real battle that's coming. You know, I've been telling my brothers and sisters for some time now that We've been living, you know, it says in the scriptures, and, and, and again, they accidentally brushed up against us on Sunday, as it was in the days of Noah. It also says, as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And if you don't think that's now, well, then all you have to do is probably search, look at your own search history. We have a society where it's acceptable for little girls and 22-year-old men to partay. Um, where it's no longer reasonable for fathers to be upset that their minor daughters would be practically engaged to... Quite frankly, he's only 22 years old. He already got eight convictions, you know, so. And those are for heavy crimes. That's for heavy crimes. That's not even for the petty stuff that I was involved in. Um, so we live in a society where his parents are okay with this. His brother and sister are okay with this. His family's all right with it. And I can't find nobody in my family that's opposed to it either. Quite frankly, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Because uh, I, I had to say that to try to give a little bit of a, a warning of what's coming. But I was told that he's probably going to be my son-in-law. That I should just get along with him. I was told... Whether you like it or not, she's probably in love with this guy. Every one of you know it's called codependency. It's called daddy replacement therapy. That's what it's called. When she cheated on you, him, well, you're watching, so. When she cheated on you, because she did, okay, with someone her own age, I was, I was so happy. I was like, yes, fine. And then, um, anyway, I don't know how we got off of Iran and all that, but we did. 
So we'll take a nice little walk around ready. But we live in a society where anything is available to you at any time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Punch your little fingers, just speak to the microphone. Some of us don't like to say the things out loud, so we tap it in there. Tappity tap tap. Like that's gonna matter. But the question, the bottom line, all of it, anything's available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week through your cell phone and your computer. And uh, you can conveniently delete your search history, but they keep it. They know exactly where you've been and what you've been looking at. So forget about that. But we live in a society where I have been and done every single possible legal thing I can, including catching him FaceTiming on the cell phone in my living room. Um, caught together at the pond, pictures of them together. Quite frankly, I've given up all hope on any legal repercussions or a legal end to this. There's not, I do, that means that there's nothing on the table because I'm not, I'm not going to put myself in prison for the rest of my life for this nonsense. But I can't get the feeling that that's what you want. Can't get that feeling out of my gut that you, you, you want to see that happen. Well, I'm not the one. You got the wrong dude. Because the God I serve is stronger than that. Mighty, powerful. His sword is drawn and raised. Flames billowing. You're going to have to answer to him. So, I am too. We are all in the same boat. You just don't got a bucket. You don't have a pail, okay? Um, those with the pails are about to jump out of the boat. We've been bailing these out for hundreds of years. Last, my count, now, you're literally skimming along the surface because the breath of our lungs is holding you up. You forget that it's the Christians that stop the destruction of this nation. It's our prayers that are being answered. So, you should look at a man who really believes in Jesus Christ and is walking the way he should and say thank you. Because without them, you're toast. Do you understand that? This nation exists because of believers, period. We stand by Israel also. That's a guarantee from the scriptures. The moment, if they dared ever to turn their back on Israel, well then you would see sure and certain destruction of this country immediately. So, we got that going for us. The wings of the great eagle into the desert. The woman who gave birth. Um, anyway, so if you think that you haven't been living in Sodom and Gomorrah, I don't know where you've been because we live directly dead center in the middle of it. If you're a believer, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this Armageddon, this war, this battle is for your mind. It's for the things that your eyes see every single day. I struggle with pornography. I'm not even going to play around. Um, it is a battle every single day, some days. I mean, it ain't like I watch it all day. I mean, less than three minutes a day. But that's enough. One tenth of a second is enough. That's my confession. I have other struggles. And very, very, very bent mind 
but I've been working on it. Doing everything I possibly can to change and to become stronger and grow. Um, stepping out of my job, I've been, well, I've been pushed out. There's no joke. I, I, I can't. I, I have not literally been said, the words have not been said to me, but it's along the lines of goodbye. You know, six hours cut. Can't, who can? Anyway, I'm getting off. I want to go get some ice cream and go get high. Scraping the bottom of the barrel on those tubes. So listen. I don't know if I'm allowed to accept donations, but I am a licensed minister. I am an ordained licensed minister, so I think I can. If you want to send some donations, feel free. Have a good day.